This resource is for our liturgical interpreters. This is for the Feast of Pentecost Sunday. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. Suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind and it filled the entire house in which they were and then there appeared to them tongues as of fire which parted and came to rest on each one of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who you are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phygria, and Pamphylia. Egypt, in the districts of Libya, near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless, O Lord, my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit. If only 
The Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But Christ is in you. Although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give you life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if the spirit you put to death, the deeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption through whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if only we suffer with him so that we also will be glorified with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 